What's up, YouTube? Honey B here, joined with me, Dragon. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, we're here and we're doing a uh, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate knee jerk reaction tier list because, in my opinion, it's a little bit early, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we can come up with here. Um, so do you want to start with we? I think it's easier to start with like the top tiers first and just get those out of the way because I think they're still All pretty right. much the same. Um, okay, do you agree? Yeah, I agree that the top tiers are still the top tiers. Okay, like I think like uh, like Cetrion, Liu Kang, uh, um, where are the other ones? What are what are some other? Uh, ones? Johnny is Johnny still like? Would you say S plus? Uh, he might not be, but like he's still top tier. So, um, I don't think much changed with him with the custom moves. Like he gets the armor breaker move, okay. but it's not. It's just like in additions. Um, but yeah, I think he's definitely either like S plus or S. Um, okay. Jackie's still up there too. Oh I'm, yeah, for I don't sure. really think much with her yeah um who else did we have up there uh i think garrett garrett's probably is an s plus but i think well he has the uh the the sand the what do you call it shifting the sand? Yeah, shifting uh, sand. yeah yeah shifting sand that's better um yeah yeah but i don't think that makes him that s plus i think he's probably s um so who do you know, have an s plus right now I Cetrion, Liu Kang, uh, Jackie, and then I just moved Johnny to S. He's probably S with Garrus. Do you think so? Okay. What about uh? I can agree with that. What about Joker? Um. Hmm. I'm not sure actually. Like he's. I I think he's definitely either S plus or S. I'm leaning towards S plus. Um. But I'm not sure. I don't know how he uh benefits from the custom variations. Like yeah. I don't know. Do you? I don't know. I, don't, I like. I haven't heard much of anything about him benefiting much from custom variations. So I would that would lead me to believe that maybe he's S. Like one thing that everyone needs to know is like with MK11 Ultimate having custom variations allowed, um, not a lot of characters actually received any actual buffs to their stuff outside of some like frame data improvements on like down ones down threes, down fours. So a lot of what makes characters now in Ultimate so much better than they were before is how much they benefit from having custom variations, how much they benefit from yeah. having the ability to mix and match all these great moves together. And if like some of the really good variations had a useless, I mean, some of the, let's say some of the top tier characters had a useless move before, and now they can replace it with something really good. Now it's just going to make them so much better. Like, Liu Kang is like one of those characters where um, Luo Quan had like a stance thing that wasn't really that useful. Now you can take that off and you can put on his like buff and you just get more damage on everything. So that's like a pretty big benefit for a lot of these characters that are going to be um, the top ranks, in my opinion. Yep, um, I, I definitely agree. And I think it's still, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I think the 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 characters that were top tier before uh still benefit the most from the the custom changes like yeah like people might think that the lower tiers might actually move up tiers because of the custom changes but i feel like everyone moved up so it's still kind of the same not devora <laughs> okay well not devora she's she's the exception yeah. <laughs> one t teleport sure rip um sure is yep uh so so um, um yeah um i think that shang sung is definitely uh s tier s s or s plus uh i think mm, i think i think s what you think s plus okay i i'm a, i'm cool with s that's fine with me okay um I think oh I'm going to I'm going to say Kano just put this out there Kano at worst is S Really like Kano is he's a real real fucking 
Um, because he actually got a big buff that has nothing to do with custom variations, which was, um, you know how a lot of characters had their hit regions adjusted adjusted for their hit boxes and whatever. So Kano, his he had that that mid string that mm. that's like three hits that it jails on like two. everyone. There's a lot of characters now. It jails on everyone except like six characters. Yeah, that that's kind of broke. And so now he has a mid that ha has great range on it, right? That's an advancing mid, and he's just plus two. Like for nothing, and then he can hit confirm it if it if it hits. Like that's mad good. And on top of that, the custom variations help him a lot because now he can close up all his gaps that he had previously. He gets like stupid good damage all the time. Like I was talking to Matt about it or Bio or whatever, and like he was saying that Kano's definitely top ten now. Like really, that's what that those are the words of Biohazard. He said, "Wow, if, if he yeah. says that, then uh, yeah." yeah. That's, that's, so I'm just going to put that out there. I'm not saying it as just a salty guy that got wrecked by Kano. <laughs> Biohazard said Kano's top 10. Okay. So well, he needs I, at least okay. You, you would know more than me because I haven't played a Kano um, with the patch. So, uh, yeah. So you want to put him in S? At least. At least. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, collector, I think, also benefited quite a bit because now he gets the uh, access to his um, armor break mm -hmm. move, which was only accessible in Squanderer, but now he can just have that all the time. Like, and that's one of the best armor breaks in the game because you don't even have to care whether or not someone breaks away. You just do it. Like, I think collector is going to be probably at least S tier as well. Yeah, I thought yeah. he was like really good even before customs too. Like I thought he was yeah. super underrated. Um, yeah. So yeah, well, I think I can up there. Definitely. huh? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say uh, uh, just that. Yeah, he's up there as well. Um, yeah, I can definitely agree with that. Um, what about Terminator? Because he's like a weird. Like I've he, always thought he's yeah, like I in a tier of his own. I don't really know if he benefits that much from customs. Mm -hmm. Um, like. I'm I'm not sure I I don't really play him. Um, I, I, if I were to put out a guess, I'd say maybe I know. Yeah. Like, yeah, I I could say that because he he definitely has like some weak weaknesses, but he's yeah. still like one of the best characters in the game too. Um, I so, I've I've heard I've heard that Sub Zero has benefited quite a bit. Yeah. From, uh, from customs, and the funny thing is, is I'm actually in an exhibition night where i have to fight too easy <laughs> oh really he's gonna use sub on me most likely and i i haven't fought uh custom <laughs> sub yet so this is gonna be fun yeah his... gonna get mixed to yep okay. it's 50 yeah. 50 so launch I... into the 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 launcher the new launcher and he gets like 50 percent from it off of like any touch great. So, uh... <laughs> <That's> great. <laughs> yeah so he might actually be like s plus now sub zero like uh, honestly and like maybe yeah like i don't know i um he could be s plus definitely i like i just to be safe i'd probably put him in s but he definitely could be s plus for sure this is knee-jerk reactions he's s plus okay i'm down let's do it <laughs> i hate sub zero he's so s plus. yeah he's s plus i I've, I've also heard that kotal khan has fucked from, yeah uh, from patch and from customs and i don't know if you know this but like he does a down four on a hit into the unblockable, and that's 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 guaranteed. And you can't do anything about it. You just get hit. Yeah, I heard so, that. <laughs> that's kind of stupid, if you ask me. That that's is kind actually of stupid. pretty stupid. Um, so, yeah, and also his forward uh, two four into ex disc now jails. Um, so that's pretty dumb too, because you used to be able to flawless. Oh, yeah, you used to be able to flawless block that, but um, now you can't. Why does it fail now? Do they like speed up the disc uh, or like? What no, they uh they did something something else, but they didn't speed up the the disc. They made it so um I don't know exactly, but they made it so there's not much of a gap anymore. Um, All right. So Kotal is definitely let's say at least S here. Yeah, say, I think right? so. He's probably S plus to be honest. Like I think that character is super good. Put there. We uh, can put him there. I don't mind. Okay. Sure, let's put him there. I'm, I am down. We have, we have free control of all this. I like it. Why not? 
<laughs> Watch um, that. I will. I, I will say um, for Noob Cybot, Noob Cybot was one of the characters that he definitely benefits a lot from having custom variations because seeing double was the best Noob Cybot variation, pretty much, and it had two basically useless moves on it, which was Ghost Ball, which was complete trash, and it had the Air Teleport, which is like okay, but mm-hmm. not that amazing. Um, so now with Noob Cybot, you get you, you have a lot more better options when it comes to customs. The only thing that sucks is some of his corner combos are a little bit weird now because they they changed the the down the ones down. and on, mm-hmm. down on hit it takes longer. So that kind of sucks, but you know I I don't think it's that big of a deal. So like I would say Noob Cybot's probably S. Probably. Okay. Yeah. Um. I. Yeah, I played with Toxin recently, and um, yeah, I can see how the custom variations benefit him. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah, I I, I'm down. Yeah. Huh? He definitely benefited from uh, customs. So. Yeah, for sure. Um, you can say that. Like it may be S minus, but somewhere there. Yeah, I was thinking S minus, but I I'm fine with us. All right, let's let, let's say let's say S minus. Okay, S-. let's let's do it. I'm down. I like to um, now play a little. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, do you want to do some of the new characters? The new characters. Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, Melina. Melina. I've been playing a whole lot of Melina. I think she's really good. Um, it, it's like if you compare her to though to some of these other characters, it's hard mm-hmm. to say exactly how good. It's like the character is definitely good. I let let's. I'm gonna. I would tentatively say S minus now. I feel like she has like great uh, zoning capabilities with her size. I think her damage output is is very solid. Like she gets thirty percent per touch or whatever. Um, command grab is really nice to have. You know, it's a good armor break tool. It does a lot of stuff. It's just the only thing she she lacks is like a fast range kid. That's the only thing she really lacks. But you can kind of make it up with like you know some of her other tools. So. I would say S minus for uh for Malia. Okay. Yeah, I, I was gonna say either S minus or A plus. Um I've been okay. playing her a little bit too, so um I agree with that. Okay. And um, what do you think about Rambo and Rain? Do you know much about them? Uh I know uh I don't know much about Rambo. Um I've only played him once against him once and uh I didn't really get to learn much about him, so uh, I know Rain though. I think Rain is, uh, I think he's better than what people are saying, but I don't think he's like bad at the same time, like every other character in this game. Um, I think he's probably um, like he's he's kind of in the same boat where where he doesn't have like really good range but he he makes up for it in his mobility um so i i i would either put him in s minus or a plus i honestly would probably put him i really don't know what do you think have you played versus him or anything uh like i've i've played versus quite a few few rain players um didn't really play much as the character um like I think some like he has definite drawbacks when it comes to like having to have dial in strings. Mm-hmm. It's like two four two string. The fact that that string you can't even cancel it on block and it's punishable. Yeah. Uh, kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, and like so, it's, it's, it kind of seems like sometimes he just has to commit a little bit. Yeah, um, he definitely does some, have to. Commit. Maybe you know maybe more so than other characters, which would lead me to put him maybe more so in the A plus range. That's what I was thinking too. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down for eight months. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, uh, and Rambo, hard to say. I haven't played a whole lot against him. I don't really know too much of the character. So I haven't either. You probably play more than me. I played three games versus him, and that's it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, for Rambo, it's like, yeah, I don't really know. Like, I was playing Gurr's Rambo, and he was playing his keep away style, and all he did was roll away from me, and then he just kept on <laughs> doing, like, like his 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 mid traps, yeah, right, and like it was effective. Like that shit was good, and like he was just doing that. So I'm assuming like if he can do a whole lot more and still do that crap, that must be pretty good, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking, <laughs> I don't know, Rambo might be pretty solid. Pretty I don't know, maybe maybe S minus, maybe okay. something like that. Like yeah. it, 
Or just, uh, you just put them over there, but okay. something like that. Because I, I have no idea. Like, okay. I play versus uh, Combat's uh, Rambo, but I was playing as Cetrion, and, like, he kind of couldn't do anything. So, uh, okay. I don't know how, you know. I, oh, Cetrion couldn't do, like, Rambo couldn't do anything against Cetrion. Yeah, at least in the matches we played, like I really, I didn't know any of his strings, but he didn't really do any. Maybe, any maybe his... he's a plus. I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe only... maybe, maybe Molina's a plus. Maybe all three DLC characters a plus. <laughs> you want to do that? I'm fine with it. <laughs> let's, just, that. let's just remember. Because the thing, oh, I I think that could be fair. That could be fair. All three get all three DLC. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine with where they are. I uh. Yeah. So you want Molina as minus? Uh. Yeah, I think so because I think she's better than Rain. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Um. What about Kung Lao? Kung Lao, he's definitely. I think. Uh. Well, I mean, Scar was talking about the buzzsaw being like terrible, all the time, and. Huh. Uh, but I still think he's, like, a really good character. Like, that character is still really dumb. He's definitely better online, but, like, oh, on maybe, yeah. I mean, online is going to be the only thing for a long time now, so. Yeah, oh, that's what we're doing. So. Yeah, yeah, so what, I, I think. Are you, are you good with that? Uh, S? Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's, a, that's yeah. where I put him at. All right. Oh. That. Um, what other characters? Why don't you just like fire off some characters and we can just kind of put them in spots? Sure. Like you can do like low tier uh, characters. Like, That'll probably be easy. Okay. All right, low tier Robocop. Okay. Definitely, I would say definitely still in the bottom range. I would say Shao Kahn is still in the bottom range. I don't really feel like not much else. I honestly think Devora is in that range too. A. Here, look at this man smirking. Like I'm, I'm, <laughs> bro, bro. I, I'm like Devora. She's playing in this game where all these characters just got better because they can do these custom shit. And I'm still here thinking, well, what I would, what do I want to do with Devora outside of just playing Arachnophobia? Outside of just having her teleport. That's two slots that you can't even combo off your stand one. And my deadly swarm ability, like that's what I got with Devora. Well, I agree that that with with those moves, those moves she's a <clears throat> okay. But, but you I... want her higher. <laughs> you want her higher. Well, well, I think with the the bug, uh, like the the setup bugs where you know she pops out three bugs. Um, I think that yeah. that. I think but, but like... actually, by the way, she actually did get a little bit of a nerf because um, the way the wake ups changed and people get up four frames faster now, it makes it harder for her to even set up her bugs. By the way, just that's saying. fair. That makes sense. Just saying. Just saying. So she can't get the same type of Oki situation that she could in Buzz because now your opponent gets up faster and can't set up as well as you could before. Maybe, you know, like it, it, it does affect her a little bit. That, in that regard too can't you also say the opposite too like it also can help her because they get off faster so you can do like specific setups better because there's only one wake up option and they get up faster so they have to kind of take your setup faster than before um like i guess that could be true like i don't personally play buzz so yeah i will i don't that much it's just what i heard in terms of some stuff but okay you know if you, if you want to put her in in a tier sure yep she's a tier as hell okay um who else who else is low tier? Uh, uh did frost get much oh scarlet is scarlet still down there maybe i forgot sorry i forgot to put joker somewhere it, what did we put him in s we i think we had him in s plus s plus okay yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Um, Scarlet, yeah, I, I Scarlet is probably still there. I think. Yeah, I I think she's pretty low. Yeah. Um, uh, that might be it for the low tiers. Yeah. Um, Scorpion. I think Scorpion's like a plus. They they nerfed Demon Dash, so it's not really like a crazy move anymore. 
or else he'd probably be higher. Um, but he's so pretty much he's only eight plus. Um, he could be S minus. I don't know. I just feel like when I see a Verk play him, I'm like, how's this character? <laughs> Like, I, I wouldn't be like upset putting him in A minus or S minus. All right, let's say okay. S <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, uh, uh, Katana, Katana got nerfed really hard. Did she? Uh huh. Highborn, um, which in my opinion was her best variation. Uh, so now if you want pre patch like, uh, pre patch fans, the the way where she like put her hands up and spun her fan. Yeah, that's how she looks. Um, yeah. <laughs> she has to spend bar now in order to do that. Um, yeah. so I think she's, she's. I think she's probably like A plus. All right. Um, we I was gonna say A, but I think she's A plus because she. I don't think that variation is good anymore, but I think the like the fearless type. She's move, so yeah, she gets good stuff from a lot of her other uh, move sets yeah. that she can do. I think. Yeah, for sure. Um, no, I feel like Baraka might also be a plus if we're talking about a plus characters. Might be in that that yeah. range. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know if he really got. Um, I think. I feel. I kind of feel like Shiva's in that range too. I don't really. I, yeah, see I too agree much with that. Going crazy. I agree. Um, who else we got here? Oh, uh, well, we forgot about Fujin. I think Fujin's top tier. I think it's like S. S? Yeah. Okay. Do you do you not do you th not think so? I I I don't really have much of an opinion. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I think S is fine. Yeah, I think he's S. Okay. Oh, okay, Sindel. I think Sindel's actually kind of insane right now because I guess Okay, maybe not that insane. Uh, but uh, I think S. Okay. And the reason why, why is, is because it? yeah, the reason why is because before with their variations, you had to choose whether you wanted to do like a lot of uh combo uh damage and rush down, um, or you wanted right. to zone. But now oh, you right. you have the low projectile you and you get like four hundred damage per combo, and she has like that is a pretty big. Yeah, it's yeah. it's kind of insane yeah, yeah. actually. So I, I think I agree. Yeah, she's really good. I think that's a, a big thing for her. Um, what do you think about Raiden? I I've heard that he Raiden? hasn't really benefited much from custom. I heard that it didn't really help him at all. But I do think well, he's a solid he got player. buffed in general. Did he? He like, he. Uh, yeah, his forward. Mm -hmm, his forward one four is now plus one. Yeah. Okay. Anything Where else? before it was minus, and then one of his custom moves is safe. I don't know how good that is, but like, just in general, he got buffed for some reason. I, I'm just thinking, like, um, if I'm just thinking, if if Thunder Wave is still the best variation for Ra for Raiden, and he doesn't like really benefit from having other moves instead, but then all he got was one little buff for that one string. I'm wondering, like, is that that much like is that is that a big deal i don't know no but i think he was already really good before so it just kind of oh. helped him it's not a huge buff but definitely helps for sure like are you are you thinking like s or s minus or uh one of those i'm not sure probably s minus right. i don't know I'm fine. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, what do you think about okay. Cassie? Um, I think she's still really good. She kind of like stopped being played a while ago, but I still think she's like either S minus or S. I'm thinking fine. Okay. Yeah, that I I can I can agree with that. Um. Who next? Uh, what do you think of Spawn? Spawn. Uh, 
It's weird. He's like, I feel like he's, he's like better than the A plus. Uh, I think he's S minus. Yeah. Uh huh. But because like I think he's better than the the characters in A plus, but like he he'd probably be on the bottom of the S minus tier. Yeah, I I kind of agree with that too. Okay. I feel like he's either top of A plus or bottom of it. Mm hmm. Uh, Frost is an interesting uh, one. Okay, what do you think about Frost? I don't know. <laughs> but she's an interesting one because, like, I hear she's actually, uh, she benefits, like, uh, one of the most out of every character because of her custom moves. Um, yeah. yeah. I've heard a lot about that. Yeah. I just haven't seen any of it really in action, so it's hard to... I, I haven't know. either. So... Ah. Well... Let's say, let's say, based on whatever hype surrounding the character, maybe she's S minus, maybe or A plus. Maybe I I put her in A plus. Well, let's a plus. All I, right, let's say A plus. Yeah, because I, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but you know, we we have these characters, so we got to choose. Um, yep. What about the ball? I, like I don't know. Good. Did he benefit from the customs at all, or no? I mean, he was good before, so but I was just wondering if yeah. he benefited. He, 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 I know he has uh that like air uh, leap type thing. Yeah, you know I, mean? I don't think when I don't gas. think that's that good though. No, it's not. Oh, I was well, thinking because I I, I, I I saw I hear. the damage and and shit like using it, but I don't know how reliable it is to get hits using it and shit like mm. that. So it's hard to. No, but I would say maybe S minus area. Yeah, I I can. Mm -hmm. I would say S minus. Uh, I think he was there before, and I think he's still there now. So, what about um, Aaron Black? Um, I don't know, cause they they nerfed his uh the custom move where he was gonna be absolutely broken if they kept it the same. The custom moves where he goes back and shoots the ground. Cause that was minus seven. Right. That was minus seven before, so you could do like any string into that. Uh, yeah, not still. No, not now that. it's minus fourteen, I believe. Um, yeah. Uh, that it was in the patch notes. Um, because I know, I know, I was playing against one that was doing that, and I was trying to. It has a lot of pushback on it. So it does like, have a lot of pushback. You do like, do like back two into that shot, and then I tried to punish it, but I couldn't. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I guess it's. So it seemed pretty pretty good to me. It it might be just character specific who can punish, and it might have been minus twelve. They nerfed it too, but um, yeah, I I don't know, I don't know where I would put him. Um, I'd probably put him in S minus. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, we can do that. Um, and all we got left, I think, is Jade, Jax, Nightwolf, and Sonia. Um, I yeah. think. I think Jax got yeah. I think Jax um got buffed with the customs because um but like before if you wanted the command grab, you had to um mm -hmm. give up damage, like combo damage if you got a hit. So it kind of wasn't that scary getting hit by Jax before cuz it was either you take like a 15% combo basically or you take uh 12% command grab, so it wasn't super scary. But now it's either the command grab or you take like thirty percent damage from his launcher. Um, right. So I think oh, Jack's he... probably got. Huh. Yeah, I, I I think Jack's got a little bit better because of customs. Yeah, um, I I think he's probably even S minus. Yeah, I could I could see that. Okay. Um... What do you think of Jade? Jade, it's hard to say exactly. I know she has that one like wiggle stick special that she can do, and if she amplifies uh -huh. it, I think it's safe, which is oh really? Good. I didn't yeah, know that was a so. move. Oh, what? It's like a low, I... and she can like she can make she can do mix ups off of it now. Like, oh, that other... that move, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she can do mix ups now with it because she has low overhead mix ups, and she, she can make herself safe with it. So like, it's a pretty pretty nice thing for her but i don't know how much it's truly helped her i would think she's probably a plus yeah maybe. i i don't know i know she actually got nerfed too with the patch for some reason oh, they 
Uh huh. They made it so she gets less uh damage for corner combos, and she gets um her wake up up three is not punishable. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I think A plus maybe. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm down for that. Nightwolf. Nightwolf. I know. Like for customs, I heard from Big D that the best thing for Nightwolf is just having his launcher with the command grab. Mm -hmm. And I think that's. I think that's it because I think the launcher might be two slots. I'm not 100 percent sure about that, but. Um, what do, like, What does he think of him? I don't know. <laughs> I you think, don't know. Uh, not exactly. No, but okay. My wolf. Because whatever tier would... he says, like I would just put him one up because of Big D. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I would. I would think for Nightwolf probably S minus. Yeah. I can something. agree. Um. Sonia. Sonia. A plus. You think A plus? Uh. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I think she's better online again because um like her fifty fifties you can fuzzy them offline, but it's pretty impossible online. Yeah, like I would say like either S minus or A plus, but you know, somewhere in there. Um I'd probably lean more towards S minus to be honest. Really? Yeah. Like for one thing, she gets like thirty six percent meterless for a punish, which is Pretty damn nice if you ask me so that's nice and like i don't know i think she's a she's a good character she has strong zoning you know whatever um yeah i, I would say s minus okay i i am convinced with just that let's go i'm down great so that, i think that's it hopefully y'all enjoyed this tier list with me and honeybee these are our knee-jerk reactions to the new characters and all the characters that got buffed by the custom moves so hopefully you guys enjoyed <laughs>